So what's it like being for April coming to Spain? Uh, first thing I want to say, I'm saying it because April is a bit camera shy in all honesty. <laughs> she doesn't like being in, the, in front of the camera. Um, first thing I want to say on this is she loves it here. Um, she's got some friends here, so some are from the Philippines, not many, uh, but we find the Spanish very welcoming also because we're in a very cosmopolitan area. Um, there's not any racial issues or that sort of stuff. The most racist stuff you find these days um, that we find for Spain is probably on YouTube. Um, I don't, not YouTube fault, I just mean that you get that sort of the comment section where people are just being what they do. Um, so that's probably the most racism I've experienced is actually in the YouTube comment sections. Um, but here, Everyone's chilled out, everyone's laid back, and I speak from where we are. You know, we're, we're on the coast, we've got this beautiful environment, you know, we've got the, the sea on our doorstep, um, the sunlight, uh, transition from the Philippines. As I mentioned before, I call it Philippines 2.0, and I think that's the way April sees it as well in many ways, because the food here is amazing. Um, it's dust free because that's one of the big problems you have in the Philippines is pollution. We don't really have that and because we're between salt lakes we have that um, natural uh, salt iodine in the air. Um, so that's very very healthy. Um, work wise I would say there's more opportunities here in Spain than there would be in the Philippines. Um, the other thing obviously even if you're not making big money here I find that the wages are pretty close to what it would cost to live, you know, to rent an apartment and basically afford to live, um, which is in contrast to the UK, um, a lot of people cannot afford their own home these days. Um, so that's, that's one of the plus sides of here. And uh, the Philippines, it's often difficult to get a job that pays well. Um, so from that side, you've got good food, good friends and the kids we've got good schools you know they're really happy at school there's always lots of excursions and always activities going on um they keep the kids occupied it's like tomorrow they're off down to because of school holidays here they, we've just had the, the easter easter uh, celebrations i think um the kids they're going to an art school uh, this week so they'll, they'll be doing painting whatever they do there um, I'll probably do a live stream because we'll be going in there tomorrow, showing them around, make sure they're okay. Um, but I suppose that's it. You know, it's just a very nice environment. And I would say that we are in a very tourist oriented environment. But I would say we're in an environment where it's over 50% of the population are foreigners. Um, which means there's a lot of activities and stuff around um keeping people occupied you know walking groups hiking groups sports complexes um like now you've got jet skis and all sorts going on on the beach there's a lot for the tourism industry but also a lot for people that are retired or semi-retired um so there's always stuff going on so from that point of view and obviously april was at college as well recently she's just finished her college course um even with that, there is a case of they are offering her work for teaching English. So there's no real downside. Um, the bureaucracy side on the paperwork is tedious, drawn out, um, often two steps forward, one back. But I would say going to the UK, the paperwork is not only um, a lot more laborious and a pain but for me to move the family there would cost me because I've had a few people bring up this 18-6 rule about because my wife's from the Philippines um, the 18 6 doesn't affect me I begrudge paying but you know by the time somebody becomes sitting there it would cost me about six thousand pounds per person I begrudge giving that to the British state for the amount of money I've already paid into the system so in all honesty, Spain has been a lot more welcoming. 
um, a lot more friendly. Um, the media is normally focused on local politics rather than blame the immigrants for everything, which is what you get out of the UK. So, in all honesty, it's a nice place to be. Um, and they call us it here. Thanks for watching.